guys welcome to a new vlog there are a lot of exciting things going on around here right now and i've kind of dropped the ball with vlogs but i promise it's for a good reason and you're gonna hear all about it um and also i'm gonna try and catch you up on other things that i've been working on behind the scenes i have an unexpected little surprise to share with you that i've been keeping a secret for the last little while because we wanted to know for sure what was going to happen but we have a new little baby. I just brought her here to show you. This is Prim or Primrose. We wanted another flower baby. Um, but long story short, Chris's sister's cat had kittens, one of which was her and Chris's parents were initially gonna take her. Um, but then we decided to see how it would go with our babies and obviously it went pretty, pretty well. Um, Lily does not love Finn because Finn, well, there's a six or seven year age difference, six year. So he always wants to play with her. She doesn't like that. Um, and always, he, like it's a male dominance thing. He always tries to bite her neck. So he is obsessed with her, um, with Prim. And it actually took the pressure off of Lily because Finn just loves her and uh, always wants to play with her. She wants to play back. It's not like a one-sided thing. And they snuggled together and Lily is not upset anymore because no one's bothering her and Prim doesn't bother Lily. So it's working out really, really well. Um, and she's also a snuggler. My other two don't snuggle. So it's nice that I have that finally. So you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of cat going on. I was worried that it would feel like a lot extra to have another cat but like I said because of the dynamics with her and Finn it's actually not much different maybe even better aside from the fact that she's still a kitten and likes to play a lot but anyways you'll see a lot more a lot more kitten videos in the next little while and uh yeah just getting ready to go for a walk but I was up until probably midnight last night um, working on my office and I wanted to show you the progress that I made because I think it's looking really good. I ended up deciding to leave the desk under the window. The thing that was troubling me before is that the desk just wasn't quite wide enough so I put the drawer unit on the end, put a book, and then put some other books in the IKEA folder holder um, or magazine holder so that it looks like it continues. And then I put my new chair Right there, I hung that sconce. I'm finding the wiring um, is bugging me a little bit. I don't know if I should just cut it off. I saw that my friend Callie did that, but we'll decide on that later. But I like that the desk is still useful. It doesn't look too crammed in, it kind of works. Um, and this spot is really just if I was working on something with a sewing machine, just to have a little extra space so I can move the chair over easily. I am gonna get a new chair eventually. Um, it's still it's still a mess in here, but um, I finished the curtains that I hung beside the washroom because I just didn't like the blue door, and I also just felt like it was a dark hole, so I feel like the curtains look a little bit better now. I still have to fix the um, vent hole there, and then I ordered a piece of art to put on here, and I'm going to make a frame for it. And I stole some stuff out of this bookcase. So I've got to build that back up. But I am really loving it. I think it's looking great. I wish there was a spot that I could put a TV and I could watch it from my desk or watch it from the chair. Or I guess if there were guests staying here, they could watch it from the bed. Um, which originally was why I was hoping to put the desk along here. But when I did it, it honestly felt so crammed in. So I think that this works a little bit better and saves me money because I'm not buying a new desktop. Um, so theoretically I could still put like a TV above here, but then the only way I'd be watching it is if I was sitting at this, um, chair, which I don't think makes sense. Um, so there's still a little room for improvement, but I'm really liking it. Oftentimes I don't have this shutter up, but it's been pretty warm recently, so it helps keep the light out of here. And I finally put a light bulb in my the light there on my desk so that's why it's turned on but I'm really liking it so far this is leftover material from the curtains if you remember I bought the McGee & Co shower curtain which is actually just like a linen material 
um, which is what I made that curtain out of. And there was a little bit of extra fabric. So, I mean, I'd love to make a little cushion to put there, but there was enough that I could actually make two pillowcases. So I thought maybe when we start to work on the primary bedroom that maybe I would want to do that. So that's why I haven't done anything with it yet. But I like the mix of prints in here. It's fun. It's cute. It's kind of the whimsical feel that I had wanted in here. So I'm enjoying all of that. And I haven't decided what I want to do about this light. Originally I had planned to change it. Now I kind of like it, but I still also would like to change it. So that is to be determined. And I feel like this corner is also quite dark. So I wondered about running a plug-in light. So you would plug it in where the um, plug is over here and run a wire up and along and then hang it somewhere over here. But I don't know that that makes sense either. So just going to live with it for a little while and see what we think. And I've also been thinking about what I can do to spruce up that bathroom. So maybe that will come at some point. I don't think that that is what the Studio McGee Target bowl is for. Just an opinion, but that's my thought. It has been a super eventful day around here. So the painters came to paint the back brick of the house. And when they were figuring out how they were going to do it, they realized that our old shed wasn't in a great place and I actually have wanted to move it and it just kind of worked out. So let me show you what's going on right now. So here's how it's looking. I feel like it already looks a million times better. If you remember, it was yellow before. Um, you can see the shed. So the dream would be, if there's no stone underneath where the shed was. So the dream for me, I think is to plant wisteria to grow up there and maybe like have some other potted plants and things or maybe even plant some things there. Um, grow the wisteria up and then my dad also said he could potentially help put like a little pergola there. So that is likely. We're just not sure if we wanted to keep the shed. My neighbor said that the bottom part of it is like rotten and to be honest I don't feel attached to keeping it. Um, but we just don't have anywhere to store our winter tires so we maybe will pay the dealership um, this winter to just keep the extra tires. But there's also something to be said about um, putting our garbage bins in there. So here's the junk pile at the back of the house right now, the garden. Um, our patio furniture, our rug, our winter tires. So the new shed doesn't fit the winter tires, um, but they can be stored at a dealership. But it would be kind of nice to have something to put the bins in. So we talked about putting the shed either along this way or this way and, you know, making it match this shed. My dad said he could maybe help do that. So I might try and move this stuff so that the shed can at least go there. My neighbor said he would come back and help. Um, and then the dirt pile can potentially diminish by filling in this area a little bit because you can see there is a bit of change in level. So at least some of it could maybe go in here. Um, anyways, this is looking so good. I'm really, really happy with it. I can't wait for Chris to come and take a look. And I also really like to change out the knobs um, and hardware there and make it gold. So, that is maybe another project. One of the annoying things about the shed is if we turned it so it was like this way, this side isn't finished because it was against the house, but the other side is finished. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise so we can do whatever we want, or maybe it should go. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of things to think about. I'm just rambling again. Um, also, I haven't given you an update on the creeping time in a while because it's just not really, it's not happening. Not much is going on. This is like the best patch. So I think maybe we will have to just put AstroTurf, like the faux, the faux turf stuff. So that's where we're at. Um, I think the fountain will move over here as well. So lots of things going on, but I'm really loving how it looks. And Chris and I talked about maybe putting a cute little window box there. So that is an idea. And if you're wondering what paint color I went with, I picked White Dove because I was kind of having to pick really quickly and I had some samples and I thought it would look great and I think it turned out good. I think that anything lighter would have been too 
white, if you know what I mean. Today is a really big day, guys. I am about to send my notice of resignation to my company to start my own business and do that full time, which is very, very exciting. Um, I'm super nervous right now. And also it's super, super dark in here because it is a heat wave and I'm trying to keep the sunshine out of here. But yeah, I'm gonna send it, hopefully it goes well. Um, and you guys probably won't see this for a little while, but I wanted to document the entire journey. It is Friday and I just had these lovely flowers sent to me by Kalia. They sent it as a nice little Friday surprise treat, which I thought was sweet of them. So I'm just gonna put those in some water and then I'm making a cup of tea. I tried to clean the kitchen quickly, but you can see there's still a pile of things. Um, this weekend, I'm hoping we're gonna work on the backyard. I haven't showed you too much, but as you can see, there is quite the situation outside the door. So hoping to work on that, do some more tidying around the house. Um, yeah. This is a nice little start to the weekend. I was just filming a video for Instagram and Lily was sitting on the sofa, but then Kitten got up and it's her first time looking at squirrels on the TV and I think she's very excited by it. This is my favorite one just because I think it's cute. It's the nut bar. I forgot to show you guys what I got today when I was out running errands. I posted it to Instagram and I was just about to start working on a project with these and I wanted to show you as well. So I picked up some new glasses, which I will show you properly on me in a minute, but getting used to them because the well, you can see how different the prescription is in them just from holding it like that. Um, so getting used to those. But I really liked this vase. It reminds me of the one that just came out in the fall collection um, from McGee & Co. But theirs is not striped. So the idea is that I'm going to paint this. We've done that before in other DIYs that I've done. So that is the plan. Um, I also got these cute little bells. I feel like these were everywhere for Christmas last year and I just couldn't get my hands on any. So it was $16.99 for the four. Maybe I will do something different with them rather than leaving them all connected, but that is to be determined. I also saw these and I was trying to dry out some hydrangeas and it's just not going well. And then I noticed these at home scents. And I quickly searched, can you dye them? I already had this for the other hydrangeas and you can. So that's another project. And then I really needed some new shorts and I stopped in at Nordstrom Rack and found these and then saw that there was someone matching sports bra. So I was very, very happy with that situation. So I'm probably gonna start working on this project tonight. I just love the size of it and I wanna be able to use it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start painting that now. I'm just about to start the jug makeover project, but when I mentioned it on Instagram, a lot of people weren't familiar with it. And thinking back, the last time I filmed it and put it on YouTube was in my old kitchen. Um, so it's been a while. So I will show you how I do it, and then you can also see how it turns out. Here's my sweet little craft setup for today. So I always keep these party cups because I think they're super useful for projects just like this. And I am going to mix a half a cup of paint. I have pale oak, which is left over from the bathroom, with baking soda. So it's going to be a half a cup and an eighth of a cup. I think what was recommended and what I did before was one cup and a quarter cup, but that's just way too much paint for me. So this line right here is perfectly a half a cup, so I can pour the paint in there and then measure out the baking soda and mix it all up. I finished one coat and then I also found something else I wanted to paint, but both are gonna need another coat because they have some dark stripes showing through. This one was striped originally and this one was black. And I remember buying it at Value Village or Salvation Army and I already had one that was almost identical but white, which I did the same thing to. 
and it looks so cute. So decided since I already had everything out that I would do a coat on that as well. It is all finished. It's one of those really great projects that's super quick. And if you already have a vase at home, then it's pretty much free if you use leftover paint and baking soda that you've already got. Of course, I bought this, but I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And I didn't do anything to the inside, but I still don't think it would be a good idea to put water in it. I think if you wanted to use this as an actual vase, it would be better to put a vase with the water inside of the bigger one, if that makes any sense. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, here's the other one that I was talking about that I already had, isn't it? It's identical to the um, one I painted today. That one needed another touch up, so it is still drying, but love those. So keep an eye out, keep an eye out at um, Salvation Army and things like that because Apparently they're very easy to come by. I don't know if they were used by like a florist or something, but yeah, I love them both. You probably caught my exciting news partway through the vlog. So I am leaving my full-time job that I've had for the last five plus years and pursuing my own business, which I've been doing, um, almost the last year, but on the side. So I have been working till like 11 p.m. pretty much the last six months or more even. So I'm looking forward to hopefully not having to do that as much. I know people always say that, you know, you leave your nine to five so that you can control your own hours, but then you end up working like 24 seven, which is probably true. Um, but I'm still looking forward to it and figuring this out with you and I will be able to vlog a lot more and hopefully just have a little more balance. I mean, I want to vlog, but I feel like the last six months I've been barely keeping my head above water. So I'm looking forward to not having that feeling anymore and seeing how things go. And um, in case anyone is worried that this is like so risky, I have made sure that it is not. Um, I essentially, made sure that I had six months worth of what my usual salary would have been, um, saved up and all those sorts of things. So it's not risky at all. Don't worry. Um, and we'll see kind of where it takes me. Um, I'm hoping to focus more on my blog, more YouTube stuff, maybe, um, do more mood boards. Maybe I'll do some freelance design. I mean, that's not really my intent right now, but Nothing is impossible and hopefully just be able to do more projects. I'm really looking forward to that. So I can't wait to have you along on this journey with me. Um, but thank you for your love and support that has made this at all possible. And uh, I probably will be slacking on the vlogs until then, just because I'm barely, barely keeping it going right now. Um, but in September, they will be more vlogs, more videos and all that to look forward to. Thank you for sticking around and I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer before, well, I consider fall starting in September, but I know many people don't consider it until October. But anyways, enjoy the rest of August.